The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. Alright, now that we've got this drawing all set up with your 2D creation of the toe stop, we're going to make this into 3D. What I'm going to do right now is just focus on the base and for that I need to be able to access this. Notice when I bring it in I brought the whole drawing in as a block so what I'm going to do right now is explode that block and to explode it you can either click on the explode icon which is right here or you could type X enter. I also want to get rid of these little guys those are my def points so that's a that's a layer that AutoCAD creates on its own when you create dimensions and it leaves little nodes behind or little points behind so I'm going to turn off my depth points layer so that I don't see them alright so if you follow the book if you look in the book it gives you a step-by-step -step of exactly how to do this so um, I'm, I'm basically just going to do that what I like to do though is hollow it out so that I'm just looking at what it is that I'm trying to um, make into 3D. Um, it does also help to have the dimensions already set up um, where you can look at them. So you might want to flip back into the toe stop project and find the page that has the dimensions on there so you know how far to press pull or extrude these parts in order to get them to be the right size. Okay, so I'm going to start with this shape right here. I've already erased out the stuff that's on the inside. And a couple of ways that I can do this. You can either say Draw, Region, just kind of select this whole shape, press Enter, and you see that it puts a solid surface, not a solid, but a surface down at the bottom. And then I can extrude that region. Enter. <clears throat> and give it the height, 2. So I've got that overall shape right here. Another thing that you can do is you can use the press pull command. In the press pull you don't have to region an object. You can just click inside of a shape and it finds, finds the boundaries. And it basically kind of does the same thing as the extrude command. So let's press pull this shape right here. See how it just found the boundaries? Clicking inside and I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to give it its depth. So that's 2.125. I'm going to kind of build this thing as I go. So now I'm going to do my 3D rotate command. 3D rotate, select this object, press enter, click anywhere for a base point, and we're going to rotate it this way. Ninety degrees. And I'm going to move from this point to this point. Now that I've got it there, I'm going to go ahead and union it together so that it's one piece. Pretty simple, two steps, and I've got the overall shape. What I need to do now is figure out how to get my um, counter sink and the counter bore in here. And to do that, I'm going to take these, these objects. I've already got them drawn out over here, so I'm going to copy. I'm going to just select this. Don't forget these little lines here. You need the whole shape to do this. I'm going to copy and I'm just going to move it off to the side over here. I'm going to draw a line right down the center and then I'm going to just trim out what I don't need. So press enter when you start that command and I don't need any of this. I can just erase this out too actually don't even need this edge right here. So I kind of hollowed out just the half of a profile of this um, counter bore. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to region. So draw, region. I'm going to select that whole object. You know it worked when it turns solid like that. If you don't region, when you go in to use the revolve command, it's going to revolve it as a face, not as a solid, and we don't want that. So I'm going to pull this down and say revolve, select this object, enter, select the axis around which it's going to revolve, so here to here, 
and then you just type in 360 degrees and I've got it. I've got my counter bore. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this up this way and then I'm going to move it into place. So I'm going to do the move command, select this object. I'm going to pick it up from that top center point and then I'm going to move it where I need it. And I'm going to do shift right click. I'm going to get a temporary O snap mid between two points. Click here, click here, and I put it right where I needed it. I'm going to subtract from the base, enter, and then you click on that counter bore, enter, and it did it. Beautiful. Checking it, but it's going all the way through. To get it to orbit the way that I'm doing is I'm holding down the shift key and I'm holding down my little wheelie ball. Now I need to get this guy right here. And in order to do this, again, I'm just going to copy it off to the side. Select all of those lines. I'm going to draw a line right down the middle. And then just trim out everything that I don't need. Then I can erase this line and these lines so that it's just the hollow shape again. Draw, region, select the whole thing. Look, I know it worked because it filled itself in. I'm going to revolve, select this, enter. That's the axis around which it's going to revolve and then I'm going to revolve it 360 degrees. 3D rotate, select this object. And I'm going to do the move command. Pick it up here, set it down here. Oops, I didn't type in exactly 90 degrees, so it made it at a kind of a wonky shape. So I'm going to undo this. Now when I do the 3D rotate, select the base right here, I'm going to type in 90 degrees. Oops. I'm going to do a 3D rotate. I'm going to select this object. Click right here. Select the axis around which I want to rotate. And I'm going to type in negative 90, or you could also type in 270. Now I'm going to move that into place, grab that countersink by that top center mark, and I'm going to snap it to the center right here. And I'm going to subtract from the base, enter that countersink, enter, double check it, make sure it went all the way through. It's looking good. I'm almost done with this base. The next thing I need to do here is either extrude or press pull, both will work. Take this circle and give it height. So the overall size of this is four inches. You can make it longer than four inches as long as it's at least four inches. I'm going to make it five just so you can see it stick out the back. I need to rotate this to get it into the right spot. What I'm going to do when I rotate this, it's a little trick here, I'm actually going to rotate that whole view I really don't even need all these lines. I just want you to see what's going to happen here. Select a base point. We're going to rotate it here, negative 90 degrees. The reason I rotated that whole view is now I can select when I'm ready to move this into place. Select this object and I'm going to pick it up by this point right here so that I can snap it into the perfect spot. Subtract from the base, enter. The reason I made it bigger is just so you can see it hanging off the back. I can grab it easier. And it went through. Looks good. Hole going all the way through, all the way through. 
looks great. So I'm done with that base. Now that I'm done with the base, I'm just going to erase out all these lines that I did not need anymore. They helped me draw it, but I don't need them anymore. And that looks good. I'm done with the base.